What's going on everybody? Max Leahy here with Private Label Hero and today I'm going to show you how to message suppliers on Alibaba. It's pretty easy but I'm going to show you in a live demo exactly how to do it so you can message any supplier that you have interest in their product. So let's take a look. So we're on Alibaba.com and we're going to take a look at messaging suppliers. So let's just take as an example, we're looking for a foam roller. We take a look here. Um, let's take a look at this one right here, hollow foam roller. And we really like this product. We want to find out more, so we want to contact the supplier. So you just click this button right here for contact supplier. And you're brought to the messaging form. Inside the messaging form, you can type whatever you'd like, um, you know, how much are these, and then just send inquiry now. Now a few tips on messaging suppliers. The first is always make it seem as if you already sell products. If they think that you're a brand new buyer, they might think you don't have money, and they might think that you're going to want something ridiculous or a ridiculous price, so a lot of times they won't even bother messaging you back. A big part of messaging suppliers is doing it correctly so the suppliers actually write you back. So the first thing I always write is, hi, my name is Max Leahy, I am, or I own a fitness equipment business in the US and I'm looking to extend my product line. That way they already think I own a business that I'm looking to find additional products for. Rather than being some new buyer that has no idea what I'm doing, sound a little better that way. Now I like to boost the quantity up decently high, uh, say around 2,000 units at least. That way again they know you're a real buyer. Someone who's buying 300, it probably not even a bother with, even if that is the minimum order quantity. A few other questions I like to ask suppliers right off the bat is number one, what is the minimum order quantity? So what is the MOQ? Um, how long uh, is the production time? That one's important too because when you start producing and you're already selling the product, if the production time is something crazy like 45 to 60 days, you really have to figure out your logistics with production time and shipping to make sure that you're not going to run out of stock. So that's a really important question. Um, the next one I like to ask is, can, can we private label this? This product. Another thing too is a lot of these sellers sell multiple products and they might even sell multiple of similar products like foam rollers. So what I like to do um, is put I am interested in this product. And then I'll take the link from the actual product and I'll paste it right in here. So this way they know exactly what product I'm interested in. There's nothing that's going to get confusing. They're not going to wonder which product even though it says it up here just makes it a little easier. So can we private label this product? Um, something like this, I would personally ask, what colors does this come in? And if you want to take it a step further, you can put, can we create custom colors? That one's a big one too because if you want to produce this in pink and they only make it in black, you might not be able to go with that supplier. Or it might be a custom color and they might have to charge for a new mold fee or something like that that's going to cost you a lot of money. So the next question I like to ask is, um, can I get samples of this product and what is the cost? Now with samples, I never order just one sample. 
The reason for that is they'll pick the best one off the production line and send it to you. Now, if you have their best sample, chances are that it could be at least the one they actually send you the products, they all might not look as best as good as their best one. So what I ask is, can I can I order five samples? This way also, when you have five of them, you can check the consistency across the samples. That way you know when you place an order, they're all going to look exactly the same. Uh, next, I ask, what types of packaging do you offer? This is another important one. Does it come in a box? Does it come in a poly bag? You know, you really need to know this. That's really important. Um, also, I want to add in number three, how many colors can we use in the packaging, on the packaging, without an extra charge? A lot of times, they only allow you to use two colors in the packaging. That can be an issue if your logo is three colors. Now, you can always change your logo to be two color, but then it's not really your logo. So you always want to ask that too before you place an order to make sure that they're not going to charge you extra for the extra color on your packaging. So from here, this is pretty much everything I would ask, you know, to start a conversation with a supplier. Now, I don't personally like Alibaba's messaging system because if you go through a hundred say messages, which commonly happens with a lot of suppliers that I deal with, it's really hard to find something they said in an earlier email, rather than having it go through your email, where it's pretty easy to find a time and a date that they sent you something. So I asked them, can you please email me at blank at gmail.com, obviously you enter your email, then I thank them, right. thank you. Now, a lot of times what suppliers are realizing is if you're going through an email that doesn't have a website attached to it, like at gmail.com, they might question what your business is, um, you know, do you have a website? You can always go on something like Wix and create a really basic website and then create a Gmail attached to it. Or you can even buy a domain for almost nothing today and then create a Gmail for $5 a month. I recommend doing that today because a lot of suppliers are catching on. There's so many Amazon sellers. And if they think you're really amateur, they're not going to reply to you or they're going to give you a really crappy price. Now, on those minimum order quantities and on the price of the product, which that I forgot as well. Um, so seven, what is the price per unit? Kind of important. And what I like to ask here too is I like to ask what is the price per unit on 2000 and what is the price per unit on 10,000. That way you get an idea of what your discount will be when you start selling a lot and you want to reorder. Usually the discounts are pretty substantial We're going from 2000 to 10,000 units and they'll give you even more when you get up to 20,000 or 50,000. But it also gives, when you do that, it also gives a supplier an idea that you plan on being in business for a while and you plan on selling a lot of these units. Again, it's more motivation for them to contact you back and give you a good price. So at the bottom of this, when you're all done, you press send inquiry now. Now, once you've sent an inquiry, you can go into here. It'll give you an alert through your email as well. You go into here and you go to My Alibaba and you go right over to Message Center. And in Message Center, it will show you all your messages from contacting Alibaba. It's pretty easy, um, but you do definitely want to make it seem as if you already own a business. That way you definitely have the most chance of getting responses back and getting good pricing. Now if you want to know more and you want a step-by-step -step guide of exactly how to create a product, become a best-selling product, sell in stores and on Amazon, check out www.privatelabelhero.com. The link is also in the description, and I also put a link for Alibaba.com in the description as well.